Good morning. We want to welcome you this morning to our drainage district board of directors meeting for today, September the 13th, 2016. The entire court being present, we have a quorum. Uh, please join us in prayer. Thank you, Judge. Let us pray. Father God, uh, we give you thanks again for another great day that you've given us, Lord. Uh, continue to, to watch over us, Lord, and uh, guide this board and this uh, four elected officials, this judge and four elected officials, uh, that they may continue uh, to make wise decisions uh, for the betterment of our great county that we live in, Lord. Continue to, uh, to provide wisdom, discernment to myself, uh, my staff, and all the leaders of this great county, for we all want what's best for uh, Idago, Lord. I ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Did anyone sign up on our consent agenda? Any concerns? No consent, no, 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 no issue in the consent. We had something signed up for drainage. I don't think they know oh. that there was a difference. Okay. I don't know. I, they, they didn't sign they, up, Monica? They didn't Health know. Healthcare district and drainage under the county, but it's the The drainage will be under the drainage district, right? Yes, yes sir, if they, if they so choose. I guess it would Do be they good. desire to speak oh, about drainage? No. No? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. All right, great. Um, everything on approval consent is good. Uh, Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, okay, great. Thank you. Uh, item five: Discussion Dell County Drainage District Number One Drainage Projects and Maintenance and Operations. Um, I know I reported last week, uh, Judge and uh, Board Members, uh, the uh, projects that we had ongoing at the district. I, I had said forty something. Uh, we're we have about fifty nine ongoing projects right now. Uh, I believe 26 of them are bond projects, uh, and the balance is just other projects that we have ongoing maintenance and operations, uh, expanding our system to uh, create more capacity in it, uh, partnerships we have with uh, different entities to improve drainage uh, in rural areas, uh, uh, you know, ETJ areas, things of that nature. So um, with the RMA, we have some work we're doing. So there's a lot of work that we're doing, uh, both design construction management and construction activities uh, the district is, is partaking in. So uh, we're almost done. Uh, we're going to have our summary of our bond projects uh, ready this week, and we're going to start doing a quick summary of uh, the other projects that were ongoing. Uh, and those 59 do not count, or, or the ones that are not counted in there are the ones that we've already completed, uh, are not necessarily in, in that batch. So there's other projects that we've worked with. Uh, you know, the district does partner with the precincts a lot and, 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 and do uh, drainage design, road design. Uh, we have slight, we have staff engineers on there to help do that as well. So uh, there's a lot of multitude of projects that we're doing there. So, uh, but uh, we're going to have that, that list forthcoming. I know there's uh, been some comments about uh, the courthouse outfall and the drainage. And, uh, you know, the, the best way to go is, is to go to the west because that north main eventually will tie into the rainbow drain, which will provide a, a lot of capacity for our area. So um, that's going to reduce a lot of the, the issues that we have from the west, from the north. A lot of that water comes from the west, from Mission, comes from McAllen, uh, North McAllen. Uh, and that rainbow drain is situated in the location that uh, once uh, we get that stage going, which we're, we're about to kick off segment one of the rainbow drain, with a lot of a lot of capacity, and uh, we're definitely actively pursuing funding uh, to try to get that rain wheel drain uh, off and going, and uh, to uh, get the first uh, few segments constructed and get the existing rain wheel drain cleaned out. So we'll have uh, a uh, an outfall um, before we build the full hundred year design. We may start with a twenty five year design, but it will have an outfall. So, and that will help, you know, greatly help our our our, our area in taking that waters north to, through the Rainville outfall that uh, they're currently we're pursuing. So uh, those are some of the things I know that uh, the public has a lot of questions about, but uh, I know the, the, the board and the commissioners are in tune to what we're trying to do and be more than happy to try to answer any questions anyone has uh, regarding what we're working on and uh, what the vision is of the district and, and some of these projects, how they intermingle and tie in uh, to provide better drainage for our county. So. Okay? All right, sure. Great. Cool. 
Item Thank number you. six. Uh, 2013 bonds budget, uh, Rainbow Drain, Engineering Firm, SMB Infrastructure, requesting approval to process partial payment invoice number U9444-103-812-2013. Uh, uh, a in the amount of $83,834 related to work authorization number 16, Phase 2 Design Expansion, Rainbow Drain, PO 6239-18. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Item seven. Um, there's no action today. Uh, I'll bring that back next Tuesday. Uh, we do have to address an issue on it. So I'll bring it for the board consideration next Tuesday if I may. Item eight. Um, request approval to issue payment to Luis Arturo Basan the amount of $54.13 for the replacement of one uh, back left window related to a vehicle damage incident on 8 18 2016. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Great. Um, I do not have anything for closed session today. Move to adjourn. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, sir. It is 9.39. We're going to be proceeding and convening our regular Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court meeting for set for today, September the 3rd, 2016. The entire court being present. Please join us for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Father in Heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the blessings that you give us. Help us to appreciate them. Help us to always never give up hope when we think things are hopeless. We ask you to bless these people who run our county. Give them wisdom so they make good decisions. Please uh, help us, dear Lord, with our country. Um, keep our nation safe and free and please bless our families and we ask all this in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Any concerns with the consent agenda? There's no no sir, no concerns under uh, move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Out of five, our DA's office. Morning, Commissioners, Judge. Morning. 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 Item 5A, Rosalinda Cantu uh, presenting for the District Attorney's Office. 5A, DA State Supplement Fund 1281. Number one, requesting approval to accept the FY 2016-2017 DA State Supplement in the amount of 22500 effective 9-1-2016 through 8-0-8-31-2017. Move for approval. Second. Second. Number two, Those approval of certification. favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number two, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the County Auditor for the FY 2016-2017. DA State Supplement Grant. <coughs> Approved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number three, approval of appropriation of funds in the amount of 22500 Motion approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B, DA's Title IV-E uh, Fund 1100, approval of the Title IV-E Grant Budget, contract number 2394 Ten zero eight for October first, twenty sixteen, through September thirtieth, twenty seventeen. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number two, approval for county judge to sign the following documents: Letter A, the budget, and Letter B, Federal Funding Accountability and Transparency Act (FFATA). Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Item six, our constable, precinct one. Good 
Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Martin Blanco, Precinct 1. Council Precinct 1, Operation Stone Garden, 1284. Authorization to accept approval notice in reference to Operation Stone Garden, fiscal year 2015, for the amount of $70,000. Move to approve. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number two, authorization and approval for county judges authorized official to electronically accept grant award form and related documents. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number three, authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number four, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2015 Operation Stone Garden Grant. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number five, approval to appropriate the budget for Adele County Constable's Precinct 1 office, portion of the fiscal year 2015 Operation Stone Garden grant in the amount of $70,000. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Jagger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Judge, Commissioners, good morning. Good morning, morning sir. sir. Armando Campos for Council Martin Cantu, Precinct 2, Item 6B. Uh, Council 2, Precinct Operation Stone Garden. Number one, authorization to accept and approve notice in reference to Operation Stone Garden, fiscal year 2015, in the amount of $70,000. Second. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item number two, authorization and approval for County Judge. as authorized official to electronically accept grant award and related documents. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number three, authorization to pay over time reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number four, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2015 Operation Stone Garden Grant. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And number five, approval to appropriate the budget for the County Council Precinct 2 portion of the fiscal year 2015 Operation Stone Garden Grant Fund in the amount of $70,000. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioner, thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Item C. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Good morning, sir. Chief Deputy Renee Gonzalez for uh, Precinct 3 Constable's Office. Today we have a uh, constable's office operation Stone Garden authorization to accept the approval notice in reference to Operation Stone Garden for year 2015 in the amount of $100,000. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Authorization and approval for the county judge as authorizing official to electronically accept the grant award forms and related documents. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Authorization to pay overtime reimbursement under the grant terms and conditions. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Approval of, of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the year 2015 Operation Stone Garden grant. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Appro uh, approval to appropriate the budget for Hidalgo County Constable's Precinct 3 office portion of the 2015 Operation Stone Garden grant in the amount of $100,000. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Precinct 4. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Good morning, Constable. Uh, DA1 56328, Constable Precinct 4. One, authorization to accept the approval notice in reference to Operation Stone Garden fiscal year 2015 for the amount of $75,000. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two, authorization and approval for county judge as authorized official to electronically accept grant award from and related documents. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Three, authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The four, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2015 Operation Stone Garden Grant. Move for approval. 
Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. If I approve it to appropriate the budget for the Hidalgo County Constable Precinct 4 office portion of the fiscal year 2015 Operation Stone Garden grant in the amount of 75000 Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. E. A1-56303, Constable Precinct 4. Discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Romeo Rodriguez, Jr. and Alejandro Ansaldua, Jr. as Reserve Deputy Constables by Constable A.J. Gaitan, Constable Precinct 4, in accordance with the Texas Local Government Code, Section 86.012. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Lastly, Judge, uh, Commissioners, F. A1-56323. Constable Precinct 4, discussion, consideration, and approval to enter into enter interlocal agreement between Hidalgo County Constable Precinct 4 and Tropical Texas Behavioral Health Center. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, that's all I've got. Enjoy your day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Item 7, our human resources. Morning, Judge Commissioners. Raul Guerrero for Executive Office for Human Resources. Item 7A, Commissioners, is for the HIDA Task Force. Uh, they're asking approval for the following personnel action effective next full pay period. Uh, Judge Commissioners, the, uh, the actual, the net item is for the commander slot to be reduced by 11,000 and the assistant commander slot to be reduced, to be increased by 11,000. And that makes the new salaries 104500 for the commander and 80000 for the assistant commander. It's just a shift in funds uh, from the uh, HIDA money. Move for approval. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And number two is approval to revise the salary schedule according to the court's action. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, sir. Item 8, our health department. Morning, Judge Commissioners. Eddie Olivares, Hidalgo County Health and Human Services. Uh, sir, item under uh, 8A, requesting approval to accept Department of State Health Services FY17 Title V Fee for Service Parental medical grant contract number 2016-003894-01 the purpose of this amendment of the amendment is to amend containing contractual language to add FY17 award allowance of $144,029 and to extend the contract term to August 31st 2017 second those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two is requesting approval or county judge to e sign a, a prenatal medical grant contract amendment and related documents. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three requesting approval of the certification of revenue in the amount of $144,029. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item four, requesting approval of the budget appropriations amount of $144,029. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Requesting approval to revise the salary schedule. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item eight B, sir, requesting approval to accept the Department of State Health Services FY17 Title V fee for service child health grant contract amendment number 2016-003931-01 the purpose of this amendment is to amend certain contractual language to add the FY17 award allocation of $30,535 and to extend the contract term to August 31st 2017 second those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two is request and approval for the county judge to e sign child health grant contract amendment and related documents. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three requesting approval of certification of revenues in the amount of $30,535. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item four requesting the Approval of the budget appropriations in the amount of thirty thousand five hundred thirty-five dollars. Move for approval. Second. 
Motion. Item C Hold is. On. I'm sorry. Hold on. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, item uh, five, sir, is request and approval of the salary schedule. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, sir, health care funding district. There is no action or discussion. If there's any questions, sir. And item D, indigent health care program. There's no action or discussion unless there's any questions, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Item right. 9, Diana, Urban County. Good morning. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Diana Serna for the Urban County Program. Good morning. I, item 9A is approval of the First Amendment of that certain interlocal cooperation agreement between the County of Hidalgo and the City of McAllen, Texas, acting by and through its Public Utility Board for additional sewer connections to Hohen Subdivision Project. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item A2 is in accordance with Section 791.014 of the Texas Local Government Code, requesting approval of the Interlocal Cooperation Agreement ICA for the Hoeing Subdivision Project. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 9B is Requesting approval of change order number seven to a construction contract with BG Vanguard Engineering LLC for the Hohen subdivision project. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B2 is consideration and approval to authorize a county judge to sign any and all documents associated with change orders and or amendments pertaining to the Hohen subdivision project. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion Curious. Judge, if I may comment, uh, the Hohen subdivision was a partnership deal with the McAllen Public Utility Board. We did qualify for some EDAP project uh, funds that were able to switch from a septic system within all the, the colonia to a sanitary sewer system. Uh, we also acknowledged uh, the work of the drainage district who did the infrastructure. So they got not just drainage infrastructure, road infrastructure, but they got now sanitary sewer. So I want to thank Urban County, McAllen Public Utility Board for coming together on this project, and we're almost pretty much wrapping up. Yeah. So we're excited. The, actually, this this amendment that we're doing with the engine the, with the construction company is to add on an, an additional 50 connections. Yeah, in short, there'll be a, I think 100 and how many total connections that we have in that oh, area? Commissioner, I, I mean, it was, it was over 100 connections. Uh, this is the area that they'd get a one-inch rain, and all their septic systems were backing mm -hmm. up. It's uh, the worst area in all of our county. So we're but we're, uh, we're happy. Done. We're happy that we're, yes. we're almost done. Yeah. Okay, if I may proceed on item C. Requesting, yes, requesting exception from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C2 is a presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by the county commissioners of at least three professional engineering services for construction material geotechnical testing firms from the county approved pool, um, excuse me, the county's approved pool is graded and evaluated by the City of La Jolla, the Urban County Program, and the Hidalgo County Purchasing Department for a project that is funding from 2014 for the La Jolla Street Improvement Projects. The three firms evaluated were a Millennium Engineering Group with a grade of 88.67, full Fulcrum Consulting Engineers with a grade of 86.0, and Earth Company with a grade of 84.67. Would you like to rank them in that order? Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is the authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one ranked firm of Millennium Engineering Group for the provision of construction material geotechnical testing for the La Jolla Street Improvement Project funding, with the funding from year 2014. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D is request an exemption from competitive bidding requirements under the Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services. Move for approval. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D, the presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by the county commissioner's court of at least three engineering firms from the county's approved pool is graded and evaluated by the city of Penitas, the Urban County Program, and Hidalgo County Purchasing Department in connection with and funded through um, 
the Urban County Program using your 2016 funding for Benita's other facility improvements, which will consist of uh, paving of the parking lot at the library. The three firms evaluated were Fever Engineering and Management Consulting LLC with a grade of 99, Real Delta Engineering with a grade of 84, and CSJ Group with a grade of 82.33. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is the authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one rank for firm of Lefevre Engineering and Management Consultant LLC for the provision of these services. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E is also requesting exemption from competitivity requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. E2 is a presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by the County Commissioner's Court of at least three engineering firms. From the county's approved pool is graded and evaluated by the City of Pelintas, the Urban County Program, and the Hidalgo County Purchase and Department um, for, I'm sorry, we're going to have to take that, no action on that item. I'm just noticing a couple of changes Number on your E. E, yes, no action. No, I right. withdraw the motion. So yes. For E1. I'll withdraw my motion on E1. Thank you. Uh, second. All right. Um, then, are you, are you, are you, are you, I'm sorry, I got a little confused here. I kept seeing Hidalgo. There's one item that we have to make, take no action on, but I think this one's okay, Steve. I just not saw that back, went back to it. Okay, then we need a vote, then it'll be one. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, so we're going to go back to the presentation of the scoring grid. The three firms evaluated for the sidewalk, Benita Sidewalk Project Fund is Lefebvre Engineering with a grade of 93.33. CSJ Group with a grade of 85.33, and Real, <laughs> bless you, Real Delta Engineering with a grade of 82.33. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 3 is the authority to neg negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one rank firm of Lefevre Engineering and Management Consultant, LLC, for this sidewalk project. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Item E, I'm sorry, item F is request an exception from competitive, competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services, construction materials, geotechnical testing services. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two is a presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by Commissioner's Court. And these were evaluated by the City of San Juan Urban County Program and the Hidalgo County Purchase <coughs> Department. This is for a 2016 project for the City of San Juan Street Improvements. The three firms evaluated for the testing services are Robert Kistner Consultants with a grade of 97.33, LNG Engineering Group with a grade of 96, and Millennium Engineering Group with a grade of 87.67. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract for these testing services with a number one rank firm of Rabbi Kistner Consultants. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. G is requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two is a presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by Commissioner's Court of at least three engineering firms from the county's approved pool is graded and evaluated by the City of San Juan Urban County Program and the Purchasing Department for a San Juan Street Improvement Project funded with the year 2016 funding. The three firms evaluated are SMB Infrastructure with a 94.67, <coughs> Javierina Jose Engineering with a grade of 93.33, and Perez Consulting Engineers with a grade of 91.67. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one ranked firm of SMB Infrastructure 
for the San Juan Street Improvement Project. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. H is requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services, construction materials, deal technical services. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H2 is a presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by Commissioner's Court of a three, at least three engineering firms from the county's approved pool as graded and evaluated by the City of Westlaco, the Purchasing Department, and the Urban County Program. This is for your 26, 2015 funding, and it's for a project in the City of Westlaco calling for the water line um, installation. The three firms evaluated are Robert Kistner with a grade of 99, Terracon cons Consultants with a grade of 91.67, and the Millennium Engineers Group with an 89. Point three three. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is an authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one ranked firm of Robert Kistner for the provision of construction material testing services for a City of Westlake water sewer improvements project. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I is requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services. <coughs> Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by Commissioner's Court of at least three professional engineering firms from the county's approved pool as graded and evaluated by the City of Ed Couch the Urban County Program, and the Hidalgo County Purchasing Department for a project in connection and funded through years 2013 and 2014, City of Edcouch Street Improvement. The three Move. firms evaluated, Fulcrum Consulting Services with a grade of 95, Guzman and Munoz with a grade, uh, I'm sorry, Guzman and Munoz Engineering and Surveying with a grade of 92.33, and Real Delta Engineering with a grade of 83.67. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item I-3 is authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one ranked firm of Fulcrum Consulting Services for the provision of engineering services for the City of Edcouch Street Improvement Project. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item J is subject to compliance with House Bill 1295 when and if applicable. The Urban County Program on behalf of the City of Westlake was requesting considera consideration an action to award and enter into construction contract with RDH Site and Concrete LLC for the base bid plus alternate for a total contract amount of $277,270.50 using funding from year 2012 2013, 2014, and 2015 for the water and sewer improvement project. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those, those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We request no action on item K. No. Item um, L is requesting exception from competitive bidding requirements under the Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item L2 is a presentation of the scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by county commissioners court of at least three engineering firms from the county's approved pool as graded and evaluated by the city of Benitas, the urban county program, and the Hidalgo County Purchasing Department uh, for a project referred as the Benita Street Improvement Project. The three firms evaluated are Robert Kistner Consultants with a grade of 97.67, Millennium Engineering Group with a grade of 89.33, and Terracon Consultants with a grade of 88. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is the authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one ranked firm of Robert Kistner Consultants for the preferred for the provision of material testing services for this 2014 Benita Street Improvement Project. Second. 
Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I'm done. Thank you. Man, we had a whole. <laughs> Item uh, 10, precinct number two. Precinct two. It's me. Uh, approval of memoranda, memorandum of understanding between Hidalgo County and Avance to establish an agreement for cooperative efforts in the community to establish a common goal in providing for the healthy development of children and families in Hidalgo County. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 11, our budget office. Morning, Judge Commissioner, Sergio Cruz, Department of Budget and Management. Uh, item 11A, 1 is approval of revised Title 4E Child Welfare Service Grant Budget, uh, contract number 2394109 for the period of October 1st, 2016 through September 30th, 2017. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 11A, 2 is approval for the county judge to sign the required documents. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 11B1 is approval to accept the fiscal year uh, 16 Edward Burns Memorial Justice Assistance Grant in the amount of $40,631. Motion approved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, item 11B2 uh, is approval of certification of revenues certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 16 Edward Burns Memorial Justice Assistance Grant. Motion approved. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 11B3 is approval of 2016 appropriation of those funds. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And uh, 11B4 is approval of the revised salary schedule <laughs> in accordance with Commissioner's Court action. Move for approval. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Item 12, our purchasing. Morning, Judge Commissioners. Good morning. morning. We'll start with item A, Precinct 1, uh, acceptance and approval of a professional services agreement, number C16257-0913, with Jimenez Engineering Solutions, LLC, doing business as international consulting engineers for the purposes of professional engineering services for the FEMA projects located within Hidalgo County Precinct number 1, site number 1, mile 1 and a half west between mile 11 North and Mile 12 North, Ed Couch, Texas. South, site 3, Jesus Flores Road, Ed Couch, Texas. Site, site 4, Engelman Road between Valdez and FM 2812, Ed Couch, Texas. Site 5, Las Cumbres Drive between FM 493, uh, located in Ed Couch, Texas. Site 6, Mile 20 North between FM 493 and Mile 7, West Ed Couch, Texas. Move forward. I'll get there's that concern there. Yes, there is, uh, Commissioner. The contract uh, runs through September 14, 2017, but the monies that are being used for this project are FEMA funds that are only good through November of this year, 2016. Right. I guess you yeah. looked into that already. Yes, yeah, so we've been working with the precinct, and we've already submitted the extension for that. Uh, we're working right now with uh, the FEMA representatives. Uh, right now, the extension that they're going to approve is going to be a six-month extension. That's normally how they've done it for the prior um, incidents that we've had with Dolly and with, and with uh, uh, Alex. Uh, they usually approve a six-month extension at a time. And usually uh, those extensions that are approved by, by TDEM are usually uh, can be up to about two years, but they only, they only do six-month extensions at each time. Uh, after that, uh, usually then uh, after the two-year mark, then FEMA has to approve those uh, themselves at the federal level. Uh, however, we, we feel that uh, for the engineering services, those should be completed even before the, the, the extension. We will need the extension, though, for the construction, construction portion of it. Uh, so approval. we are recommending approval uh, of the site. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, acceptance and approval of a work authorization number one uh, with estimated cost of 48311 cents. As submitted by Jimenez Engineering Solutions LLC, DBA, International Consultant Engineers for the FEMA projects, as read above, uh, Site 1, Mile 1 and a half West between Mile 11 North and Mile 12 North, Site 3, Jesus Flores Road, Site 4, four Engelman Road, Site 5, Las Cumbres Drive, and Site 6, Mile 12 North. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
Item B, Precinct 2, authority to advertise with approval of preliminary plans and specifications developed by the architect for renovations of Palmer Pavilion, Les Gilmore Kitchen upgrades. Uh, in the event of no bids received or rejection of bids, approval to re-advertise for this project. Motion approved. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 2, approval of work authorization number 4 with the estimated cost of $6,550 and 25 cents as submitted by Millennium Engineers Group under contract number C16-2070510 to provide construction <coughs> material testing services for the Precinct 2 Sioux Road project. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 3, pursuant to contract number C16-1710412 with LNG Consulting Engineers under Article 12 <coughs> to request for approval by engineers to permit the subcontracting of AAMECC LLC in connection with work authorization number 2 for the demolition of Precinct 2 Mechanic Shop. Move for approval. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, Precinct 4, number 1, pursuant to Article 14 of the Professional Engineer and Services Agreement, number C, 16188510, with Happen Associates, Inc., uh, is requesting approval to engage the services of a subcontractor, Celso Gonzalez, DBA, ADA Inspections, and Chanin Engineering, LLC, under work authorization, number 1, in connection to contract number C, 16188510. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Agenda item number two for Precinct 4, approval of purchase of one 2017 Freightliner 114 SD through the county's membership participation of HGAC, awarded vendor Houston Freightliner, Inc., under contract number HT0616. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 2B, approval to purchase one hoist from B and C body com company through by board contract number 425-13. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Agenda item number three, approval to purchase one 2017 Freightliner water truck through Idaho County's membership participation with HGAC, contract HT06-16. Uh, awarded co-op vendor is Doggett Freightliner of South Texas in the amount of $91,350. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item number four, presentation of low bid received meeting all specifications and our requirements for the purposes of award uh, of bid and contract for the Pit Rencaliche for Idaho County Precinct number four, project number 2016-230-0706 SGS. Approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D, IT Department, acceptance and approval of the amendment to the end user license agreement between Tyler Technologies, Inc. and Idaho County for the maintenance and support services. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E, Health and Human Services Department, approval of First Amendment to Service Agreement C16. 0890510 between Dell County Health and Human Services Department and Ivan Melendez, MD, Physician for the Provisions of Physician Services, TB clients as permitted under the terms of agreement with compliance with HB 1295. Move approved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item F, District Clerk, requesting the continuation of the prevention of historic, preservation of historical records, books, volumes, and the paper. Conservation with Co-Fire Preservation, Inc., through our membership participation with Texmas, uh, under contract number 13-36010 in the amount of $124,999.88 for the Dow County District Clerk's Office. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item G, Budget and Management, presentation of of a scoring grid for the purposes of ranking by Commissioner's Court is qualified to continue the process of the response received and evaluated in connection with RP number 2016-1830810 YSS Quality Claims Administration Services for Workers' Compensation in order to proceed forward with the negotiation portion of the procurement process with 
TriStar Management, One to One Claim Inc., Argus Claim Service Inc. Um, it says Evaluator One at 98 for TriStar Risk. 93 for 121 Claims Inc. and Argus Claims Services Inc. did not meet the specifications. Evaluator number two is uh, grading at 98 for TriStar Risk and 94 for 121 Claims Inc. and Serv um, Argus Claims Services Inc. did not meet specs. Evaluator number three at 98 for TriStar Risk Management and 90, 91 for One to One Claims Inc. and uh, Argus Claim Services Inc. did not meet specs. So the average score at 98 is for Tri Risk Management, 92.6 for One to One Claims Inc. and of course Argus Claims did not meet specs. So, so we're requesting approval for that. that one, right? so accepted, right? Yeah, move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, requesting authority for purchasing department to enter into the negotiations with the number one ranked proposer. Move which, for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H, Sheriff's Office, we're recommending no action for this item at this moment. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh huh. With respect to the pit run furniture. Uh huh. Contract number. Just, just for the record, the uh, the, the vendor is uh, Roy's Holland, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because yeah, I noticed it didn't yeah, have anything on there. So it is the Roy's Holland Services. Okay. Just again for the record. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Judge, there is a need to go into executive session. Uh, did anybody sign up? Yes, we did. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, we did. Yes, we do have participants. Uh, our first, uh, our first participant is Ms. <coughs> Fern McClarity. Uh, again, I will remind everybody in the audience to please respect the speaker's time at the podium. I will advise when there's one minute left. Ms. McClarity. I just wanted to tell you that the Owls and the Tea Party members met at St. Jude's Church in Far last night. Jerry Frank, as usual, did not allow anyone with opposing views to speak and limited initial comments to brief questions from the people that were members. The result was a real surprise to those of us sitting in the back rows. The audience began to ask some very pertinent questions concerning what seemed to be a process that was created by administrators at the top and was now being imposed on those at the bottom. There is no grassroots outcry for the services listed in the bill. And with that exception of the 20% for the clinics, it is difficult to see how the poor will benefit. We would like to see more of the funds directed to the clinics rather than for the uh, profit hospitals. This is what most of them commented. Jerry Frank said that he agreed that as a member of the board of directors, increasing the amount given to the clinics would be one of his primary objectives. Some of the surprise comments from the audience were that the people would not vote for a bill because they did not want to pay more taxes. A basic concern was that they did not trust this commissioner's court to keep the word and not allow the eight cent tax to, in, to be increased. The comments that was made several times was the people did not believe that the for-profit hospitals were losing money because they were continually expanding. The comment that was most emphasized by the speaker was that the county was required by law to reduce its tax rate by three cents and that health in the health care district increase would only be five cents. The comments that drew the most question was the statement that everyone would benefit from this bill. The response was that all ta they would all be taxed, but very few would receive benefits. The most impressive outcome of this meeting was that the members of the parish began to ask questions and expressed their concern about the creation of a new taxing bill. One of the last questions was, why can't we cut out the hospitals 
and just fund the clinics. This is the people of the church. Uh, so, like I say, we're going, we're not able to ask questions, but the, the people, they're getting smarter at each one of these church uh, meetings. So, thank God for that. Thank you. Our next presenter is Yvette Salinas. Yvette Salinas. Our next presenter is Mr. Uh, Mario Cuel. Mario Cuel. Okay. Next presenter is Ms. Virginia Townsend. I, you know, have too much time to think, I guess, because all of you all are businessmen. And I wondered if you ever put a pencil to what you're doing about the hospital district. I mean, really, look into it. And I know we're going through the pros and cons. My owls are going all the time to these meetings. I have not gone, but it's because Father Jerry and I have a history, and I really don't want to fight with him, But um, and I would. <laughs> but... The thing is, is I wondered if you guys actually sat down. Now, we're trying to help the indigent, and please don't tell me the indigent does not mean north, all of northern Mexico, because it does. And my husband volunteers at the hospital, and I'm telling you, they don't get asked anything. It's free. They're coming in and getting all kinds of services. But do you realize how many indigent we're trying to take care of? compared to how many hard-working, tax-paying citizens we're really hurting. I'll be very surprised if there isn't more. I mean, right now, there is a percentage that's pretty big who can't pay their taxes. I wonder if it's not going to increase a whole lot if we do this eight-cent thing. Um, I, I, I just, I'm not trying to say... I'm smarter than everybody. I'm just saying, you guys are business people. You sit down, you put a pencil to everything, and you look at it thoroughly, and I'm wondering if you did that, because I don't think you have on this. Thanks. Thank you. Next presenter is Ms. Opal Bilman. Good morning. My name is Opal Billman. On the frontage of the north 20 acres of John H. Sherry, Lot 184, small residential houses and lots, the depth of 150 feet from the center of Sherry Road, were sold by Mildred Billman. The balance of land in the north 20 acres was purchased from Mildred Billman by Joe and Opal Billman. On the north frontage boundary of Lot 184, casual observation of the existence of two of the original residences will reveal the manner in which all of the residences once stood. Parking lots have been developed where the residence Mildred sold were, and commercial stores have been built on land owned by the estate of Joe Billman and me. I want the buildings and the trespassers on our land removed. <coughs> Response to a petition for divorce submitted to the court by Joe was to form a corporation named Billman Real Estate LTD with a partnership corporation named Billman LLC. People claiming involvement in buying our land not from us, but from these so-called corporations, have used our land as their collateral to borrow money from banks to pay for our land, which is not for sale by the owners. The 275th court determined our land to be excess <coughs> land with no value. Petition for divorce remains right there. Nothing was done. No settlement between Joe and me occurred. A divorce was not finalized. The court awarded our private property to their 
corporations. Developers commercialized and built stores on our land. Individuals claimed to buy our community property from the corporations. Using our private property as their collateral, individuals borrowed money from banks to buy our land from the corporations. Also, county commissioners claim all of this land was donated to them in 1958. The city of Mission claims to have paid for land to develop a street from Sherry to Glasscock Road. Paid who? The, the land is private property. For years, the city approached Joe about a street across our private land. Joe told them no, and the answer is still no. The city of Mission has no legal standing to claim infrastructure of our privately owned community property. The court provided the appraisal district with a deed changing ownership of our private property, a transparent land grab. Valid deeds to this property in the names of Joe Billman and Opal Billman still exist. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last, our last presenter is Mr. Pedro Ayala. Good morning, Judge, Good morning, Commissioners, Good morning. And welcome guests. We're here to invite you to a, an event here at the Museum of South Texas History. My company uh, is BUILD, Building Urban and Innovative Land Development. For those of you who don't know me, um, I had an office in, in McAllen. We expanded to San Antonio, and we have a, uh, been very involved in historic preservation and urban design, urban revitalization in uh, San Antonio for the past four years. I've come back, uh, live in Edinburgh now, and <clears throat> uh, want to get, get involved into the community. I know uh, Joseph Palacios is my uh, commissioner, and I've already reached out to him. He's very uh, uh, enthusiastic about this uh, effort. It's to bring awareness uh, for historic preservation. Um, we're going to have four speakers, Dr. Francisco Guajardo uh, from UTRGV, Evan Thompson from Austin, who's with Preservation Texas. We're going to have uh, Charlie Garcia, who's an architect and also uh, Mission School Board trustee. He'll be speaking on education and awareness uh, within the community and our children. And also Gustavo Ayala Guevara, who's an artist who's traveled all over Central and South America, who will speak on Mexico's UNESCO designated properties. Uh, this, proper, uh, this event, again, will be on October 4th. Tuesday from 5.30 to 7.30, and uh, the community is, is welcome. This will be a three-part education series, and the first one is here in Edinburgh, and I'm very proud to say that uh, the first one will be here in Edinburgh, the seat of the county, County of Hidalgo, at the Museum of South Texas History, and uh, the other two will be either in Mission and in FAR, and uh, hopefully at one of the museums, uh, a nice facility where we can uh, host cities, the county, and the community to learn about historic preservation, the importance, and uh, the first one is called Historic Architecture and Preservation Ethic, and uh, relevant industries would be city government, architecture, economic development, planning, construction, real estate, business, education, history, legal, and arts. Um, so we invite you. And uh, if you have any questions, we, we do have an invitation here. Again, it's my first time here with this panel. Uh, yes, yes, I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, uh, again, we're very proud of this effort, and I hope that you will support us. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we going to executive session? Is that it? Yes, sir. All right. Need a motion to proceed to executive session? Awesome. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. We will be in executive session for a short while.
We are back in open session, Mr. Guerra. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Under open session, item 16A, Real Estate Acquisition Corporation, for saying there is no action to be taken today. 16B, pending and potential litigation, there is no action to be taken today. And 16C, CCD-0371-E, Yellow County Regional Mobility Authority versus Jose A. Aguilar et al. <laughs> Judge Commissioners, I'd like to refer back to item 15A and B. Item 15A, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under the Texas Local Government Code, section 2620248A4, a professional service for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation. Thank you for the motion. To Move for approval. Second. Second. Uh, those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 15B, request an engagement with the firm of Atlas Juan Rodriguez for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation and authority to submit a letter of engagement subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, specific to item 16C under open session, um, CC. Did you go to this? CCD-0371-E, Double County Regional Mobility Authority versus Jose A. Aguilar. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 16D, claim of OD, Osuna, Judge Commissioners, I would like settlement authority to make an offer in the amount of $505.06. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. There is no action to be taken under 17 or 18 as there is no need to go back into close or, or open session. And before we adjourn, Judge Commissioners, we do have uh, a workshop scheduled for tomorrow and Thursday if need be. Uh, tomorrow's workshop uh, to begin at 9 a.m. 9.30. Oh, I'm sorry, 9.30. 9.30, you're correct. Sorry for that. Uh, 9.30 uh, tomorrow. And another one on Thursday? Thursday, if need be. Okay. We, uh, uh, because we are adopting, Seth, if I'm mistaken, we are adopting uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, the 27th? 27th. 27th. We are having, next week, we will be having Commissioner's Court. We have our second uh, mandatory public, public hearing rank. on the uh, proposed tax rate. Uh, and so, again, uh, we are having a workshop tomorrow, and if need be, we'll meet on Thursday for the additional workshop. We'll have the public hearing next week, and then we'll also have the proposed budget filed uh, next week as well uh, for course review, and then the adoption and the setting of the tax rate will be on the 27th. Uh, for the 27th, we will need at least four of the members of the court present uh, to be able to set that tax rate. Very well. Need a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.